Good evening, I'm Davina Smith. Against a proposed asphalt plant at Kunda Park. Locals say the facility will be too close to residential areas and they feel they'll be forced to breathe in toxic gases. Peter Baines will be at ground zero if an asphalt plant spewing toxic fumes is built next door to his business. I've got 55 staff who come and go from the site throughout the day. By tonight, a thousand submissions against the proposal will be piling up in council chambers. It's going to be like a, a 25 metre cigarette burning seven days a week, 24 hours a day and it could get thicker. The science says if you work in the asphalt industry you can have up to two to three times an increased rate of cancer of the brain, of the lungs, of the bladder and of the blood. The land at Kunda Park was approved for heavy industry under the old Maruchi town plan, but business owners and residents are fearful. The proponent says the winds will whoosh it away. The resident says no, we're in a boxed in valley. Those uh, toxins, those carcinogens are going to fall on us, our children. It's a race around the clock. Allen's Asphalt want to start work next year. There's calls for council to step in and rezone, but even they might not have the last say. If it was recommended for refusal and the applicant disagreed with it, they have the right to appeal to the Planning and Environment Court to have the case heard and a, and a judge make an assessment on it. The coast's in desperate need of more roads. There's no arguing a plant's needed, but locals say don't build it here. In my mind, a concrete plant would probably be best suited in a quarry somewhere because it would be a similar operation. It's not a question not about my, not in my backyard. This is a question of not in anyone's backyard. This should be far from people. It's just too dangerous. Melissa Mallett, Wynn News.